Hello, good morning and welcome to today's products in focus. So most other global markets are actually bouncing a little bit higher this morning after uh, after selling off a lot yesterday. Um, Janet Yellen gave a speech in which she um, reaffirmed the strength of the US economy and that US rates were likely to rise uh, in 2016. Uh, albeit she had to get medical attention at the end of her session due to dehydration. The main parts of her speech were certainly um, accepted by the market as being relatively positive. And you've seen the dollar kind of um, gain a, a little bit of momentum, but interestingly, equities have also moved uh, in tandem that little bit higher. So the US there is actually trading towards the top end of its range today, um, but still a little bit away from the from the moving averages, uh, quite far away from the tip of the candle yesterday, which is just, just above 16,000. So we're on you know, 300 points higher than that instantly, uh, and we just started the session. So the other technicals are relatively neutral. Um, we do have GDP due in the US today at 1.30 UK time. Uh, that's going to be another important driver for, for rates that comes in comes in quite strong. Uh, that would be another, um, another kind of fuel added to the fire for US rate hike increase. Looking at the UK 100, um, Similar, similar pattern to what we had in the US in regards to the candlestick formation at, to, at the top end of its range uh, this morning, already challenging 60.73. Other technicals are relatively neutral, uh, with commodities doing relatively okay considering the US dollar has, uh, has spiked up, but um, we'll have a look at those in a little second. So moving on to Japan 25, we actually traded below 17,500, uh, only to finish back above the level um, at the end of the trading date. Uh, Japan 25 also at the top end of its range with 18,306 being the next potential support level to be aware of but we are trading below both moving averages and just to look at uh, dollar yen always a proxy to Japan 225 it's moving up nicely just trading above that 21 period SMA looking at 121.87 has been the next potential support um, and that GDP figure will be very important for dollar yen later on today as well so having a look at West Texas crude um, we had a, a slight hammer formation yesterday, having dropped off quite uh, maybe about 4% there on Wednesday. We had a 1% increase uh, yesterday uh, with a potential rechallenge of 45, 85 uh, if uh, the momentum continues. So moving on to gold, uh, and obviously interest rate uh, decisions could have a negative impact on, uh, on the value of gold. We had a great session yesterday, uh, only for it to come off a little bit more this morning, with 11.37 being the longer term potential support slash resistance. And if we finish up with GBP USD and Euro Dollar, so Euro Dollar um, going, <laughs> going negative right now with a bearish engulfing pattern towards the bottom end of this range. We are trading below the 21 period SMA and coming quite close to the 55 period SMA as well. Uh, with one spot 11 being the potential support level, which a large number of traders will be looking at, and we're making a series of lower highs. So you got a high, lower high, lower high. That's not usually that good a sign for for your dollar, but the um, the USD is bringing a little bit back into life against some of the other majors. And then if we have a look at GBP USD. Um, two kind of doji formations at the bottom of the range one spot 5185 it's been in play for quite a while so this looks to be like a significant support level so the, the dollar would have to rally significantly if we're going to break through one spot 5185 to re then rechallenge one spot 4813 um and the fact that we've got these tips of these candles on here so close to the last three sessions is indicative of the importance of that level so if you're trading cable that's a great one to look at so we talked about GDP due later on today. Let's fast forward on to Monday, where you've got a housing index, and then Tuesday, German retail sales and uh, the housing index, followed by uh, CCI over in Germany at 3 p.m. on UK time on Tuesday. So a fair amount of information still to come, but GDP today, this is the big bit of data, just to finish up the session. Markets are bouncing higher. You can get an idea here that most markets are up about half percent to one percent higher, which is great. Keep going to the chart forum, make insights popular going forward, and join me again uh, on Monday to find out what happened next.